with Seth Rollins turning on Dean Ambrose. With Dean Ambrose turning on Seth Rollins, there's only but one left scenario, and that's Roman Reigns turning on his brethren, his brother, Dean Ambrose. In what way, in what form would that make Roman Reigns looked strong and hated and heated for him to have Dean Ambrose leave the WWE with Roman Reigns taking out and attacking Dean Ambrose. The rumors, and we all know Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns are set to go one-on-one at WrestleMania at MetLife Stadium. Now we know it's going to be a physical, brutal match. But we also know what Dean Ambrose has done. Dean Ambrose has drove a wedge. Although the Shield has got back together since then, you know, there's some, um, you know, disrespect. There's some ill will feelings. There's some animosity. There's some trust issues. There is rumors that Roman Reigns will be the final piece of the shield to turn heel to get Dean Ambrose out of the WWE. To give Dean Ambrose a beating so bad, so debilitating, so damning that it will end Dean Ambrose's career. Now, if. The WWE comes up with some sort of scenario or storyline that keeps Dean Ambrose in the WWE. Well, then that's all fine and well. But when you think about it, who is the only one out of the shield to not be a bad guy, to not be a heel? That would be Roman Reigns. And that would really build up Roman Reigns to a whole nother dynamic. That would make Roman Reigns a whole different personality and a different character if he were to turn on Dean Ambrose. Because Dean Ambrose gets back after he turns heel, after he talks about Roman Reigns' cancer. But then how could you blame Roman Reigns for turning on Dean Ambrose? And that is a very real scenario that could be rumored and speculated on. Now, I don't know if it's going to happen on Raw. I don't know if it's going to happen on the Raw before WrestleMania. Or we all know that the Raw after WrestleMania is major. We know that the Raw after WrestleMania is huge. It's like a pay-per-view. The Raw after WrestleMania is almost like WrestleMania the second part. Or could Dean Ambrose do the unthinkable and turn on Roman Reigns? So there's a different variable, there's a different kind of ways that this could go. Remember, this is the brash and the brazen. Sean's View Entertainment, I will never be mistaken over taken. I work around the clock. I don't stop on all WWE news, rumors, headlines, updates, changes, developments, and breaking news. What would you think about Ambrose turning on Roman Reigns? Or if Roman Reigns turned on Dean Ambrose and defeated and beat up Dean Ambrose so bad that he would never be able to return to the WWE for several weeks? several months, or several years. Because we all know that even though the acts that Dean Ambrose committed was pretty deplorable and horrible and disrespectful, we all know that the fans can be forgiving. But one of the ways that Dean Ambrose may exit and leave the WWE because his contract's coming to an end is to have Roman Reigns absolutely dominate and destroy Dean Ambrose. And could you blame Roman Reigns for doing that after the comments that Dean Ambrose said about Roman Reigns? Ladies and gentlemen, share my videos on Facebook and Twitter. Have no fear, the brash one is here. Refresh my YouTube channel multiple times a day so you're always in the know on all WWE. Will Roman Reigns turn on Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania? Will Roman Reigns turn on Dean Ambrose the next night on Raw? Because we all know the next day on Raw after WrestleMania, the WWE likes to do big things and they like to follow things up and they like to make things entertaining, dramatic, compelling, and engaging. Your comments, your opinions, more to come from the only one, the face that books the place, Sean's View Entertainment, the brash, the brazen, and I will never be mistaken. Subscribe.